come back, our first are stealing from vacation and those who travel with him. We continue thanking God for the safe journey we are according to them. Welcome. Today, this month, we offer for Gerard Doran the Jerry, the one who takes the readings always here with days. And uh, Tika Moso Odume, happy birthday. This presentation for Benita Boxing. That the good Lord continue to give their pain, their answer to their different needs. Together with all our past presentations, we begin our celebration in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. 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 Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess for my God, children, brothers, and sisters, that I have really sinned sin. in, in my thoughts and in my words, the word of God, the word of faith, through my thoughts, through my thoughts, through my most grievous thoughts. Therefore, I ask you as a merit of all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, Amen. and on earth, peace to people of God will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God of heaven and earth, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only only God the only begotten Son, Lord God of heaven and earth, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our faith. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you are alone and the Holy One. You are alone and the Lord. You are alone and the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of your life, our Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unit of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading can be found on page 64 in the Select, page 64. My thoughts are not your thoughts. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts nor are my ways your ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. The, the Lord, Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, 
and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The second reading. For me to live in Christ. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life is Christ, and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me, and I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet I remain in the flesh, is more necessary for your benefit. Only conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the use of their wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You two go into my vineyard, and I'll give you what is just. So they went out, and they went out again around noon, and around three o'clock, and they did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around, and they said to him, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You two go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, these last ones who worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the use of daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? 
Are you envious because I'm generous? Thus, the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I welcome you to this Sunday's reflection as we begin the new season. In the year before, we are beginning even with the downpour from morning. It's God's blessings. And also this Sunday, we remember the International, the World Day of Migrants and Refugees. We pray for them. We welcome them with the heart of Jesus. In the Gospel of today, we are, uh, we are challenged with the God of surprise. He's a God who surprises us. He doesn't act the way we, be, we think or we expect. He's a God who is generous and compassionate. We have just heard the parable of the landowner. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out looking for the, the workers in his vineyard at different times. And the first group was from morning at dawn. And this group, he made a contract. It was a legal contract with them. And they agreed. And what was agreed upon was the accepted and the just wage. He was not cheating them. He was not paying them less. It was a legal contract of the narrows for their wage. Then this landowner goes ahead and finds other people in the marketplace at 9 a.m. And uh, he was so generous and asked them, why are you standing here idle without doing anything all the day long? No one has hired us. With his generosity with this second group, the third group, the fourth, the fifth group at, at 5 p.m., he just promised, I'll give you a just wage. He never made a contract, a legal contract with them. And what surprises us, the landowner did not send even the poor man or poor woman to look for the laborer. was himself going to look for the workers to work in his vineyard. And who is this landowner? The landowner is God himself. It's Jesus himself who goes looking for you and me to come to work in his vineyard, the church. And he will give us what is just at the end of time. And we hear at the end of paying them at the, in the evening, he begins with the last giving them what was just, according to his judgment. One in arrows, which was enough for them to survive on. And uh, the first group expected more. They expected more than what was the legal sign. They started grumbling. They started complaining. Then we hear the landowner, he said, my friend, take what is yours and go. Did we not agree? Why, why must I not be just and generous with whatever I have to those who, who do not have? Why do you want to control me? And this is exactly how our God is. God is generous to each one of us. God calls you in different ways. God called you at a certain time different from mine, in a different way calling you to his vineyard, to work in his vineyard until the end of time. And what will we receive at the end of the time? Eternal life, which is the same for all. Either those who received the call at the beginning, the Jews, connected to Abraham as elected people, privileged people, or the Gentiles who were called late, 
all of us are to get the same pay, eternal life, if we remain in the vineyard of the Lord. Thus the last will be the first, and the last and the first will be the last. In the kingdom of God, there is no distinction. God's love is the same to all. And this is exactly which is being indicated in the baptism. Either you, bap you were baptized a hundred years ago, or someone baptized today, you are all children of God through baptism. We receive the same grace. And we have the same right to inherit the kingdom of God. Because in baptism, we become the children of God. God does not want you to be idle. Do something in his vineyard. Even in the church, do something. When we are intoning the song, sing together. The first pertaining to you to respond. Respond as, as a group. God is not happy when he sees you idle. God called you to come in this, in this church. Therefore, continue working. Continue doing something. Continue being fruitful. Continue producing something in his vineyard in order that we merit this reward at the end of time. Today we are called to be generous like God, to be compassionate like God, to be loving like God. God, with his love, goes looking. Can we be able to look for those who are idle, maybe spiritually, maybe morally, maybe financially, if you are able, can you be a resourceful to this person? In the gospel of today is underlined the social justice, which is the same to all. What the other one can receive, also the another one can receive. Social justice. And that the God we celebrate, the God we worship, is so different. His ways, his thoughts are so different from ours. His judgments are so different from ours. And this is exactly what we hear from the first reading of today. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. If God was to have our, our ways or our, uh, like our judgments, how would the world be? But God's ways are different from our ways. That's why he called these people at different times. At the end of time, he gave them the same pay. They pay the reward of being happy, being Christians, following his ways of life. Then the first reading, Prophet Isaiah invites you and me to seek him while he can be found. Seek him when you are still having strength. Seek him when you have the possibilities. I thank you for having come to celebrate this Eucharist with us. You are the people who are fulfilling the, fulfilling the, the first reading. You are seeking the Lord amid this even the downfall. Others will say, uh uh, it is raining. I don't want, to, I will not go. Maybe I will listen it on the online. Or listening online, streaming is different from you being here present. Seek the Lord while He can be found. Don't wait until it is too late. You might not have those possibilities, those chances to praise him, to glorify him, and to thank him, and to receive him more so in the sacrament of the Eucharist. So for us as Christians, let us continue being the seekers of the Lord. We don't possess the Lord, but we are called to be the seekers. Some of us, some of our Christian brothers and sisters, Catholic, they say, I have already Jesus in my life because I am baptized. I go to communion, first communion in that church. I am a perfect Christian. We are not, we don't possess God, but we are called to seek God day and night in our thoughts, in our actions. And once we do that, God becomes more generous he continued blessing us more with different gifts. In the second reading of today, St. Paul again underscores a very important point. St. Paul was in the prison. Probably it was in Rome or Ephesus. And St. Paul at, 
at the time of conversion, he expected Jesus to come first, as soon as possible. But he waited, he waited, time was going under his soul, his time of condemnation was coming nearer. What did he say? For me to live all life is Christ and this is gain. I don't worry. Christ is there for me because I have sought him, I have given witness to him. For me to live is to give witness to Christ, to see Christ in my actions, to prepare my thoughts and be available to my brother and sister, bringing hope, compassion and mercy to this person, following the example of Christ himself. Let us pray today that as we hear this word of God, may we open our hearts, allow this word to transform us internally and become godlike, to go and seek the people who have lost the way, who have lost the truth, who have lost their dedication to the church. God we serve is a God of surprise. Don't compromise, don't underlook yourself. You by going, God will do a miracle through you. He can bring a surprise through your availability to that person. You find you touch that person and his life becomes a blessing, becomes a favor to others. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. Let us continue calling upon him. Let us be generous to him as he is generous to us. So we pray today that the good Lord may give us the necessary graces that we continue being faithful in his vineyard, following him, serving him in our brothers and sisters, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Loving Father, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For the church, that the parable of the laborers in the vineyard may remind us of our obligation to welcome anyone at any time to share in the work of bringing the kingdom to fruition. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. That those who feel abandoned by God or by the church may find in their hearts to seek the Lord, for the Lord is near to those who do so with sincere hearts. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayers. For business owners, farm owners, and all those who employ others, that they may put a just living wage to all who work for them. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayers. 
for migrants and refugees who have come to our country for safety, for opportunity, and for a better life that they may find all three in this country we call home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our for our Jewish brothers and sisters who on Monday observe Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the year, a day centered on repentance and atonement, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our that we all may be inspired to labor in the vineyard, building up the kingdom of heaven by extending God's gracious love and mercy to those in most need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord Father, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we can add our own intentions. For ourselves, and all those in need of our prayers, those that are listed on our parish bulletin, that the prayers we hold in our hearts will be united to those of our patron saints, Philip and James, and all who stand before the throne of the Lamb, we pray to the Lord. Lord our Father, hear our prayers. Lord our Father, these are our humble prayers we present to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew, 
and so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim you. Holy, 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 Lord of hosts, heaven and In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, son of you, and drink from it. For this is the child of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in the memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of Lord until the come of him. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have made us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your child's spirit from the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in the mercy, welcome them in the so now we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary Mother, with blessed Joseph spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have raised you from the ages, we may merit to prepare us to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, of my Father, the unit of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all disgrace, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of the power and the glory of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your child, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us of each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us the sins. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who go to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not the one that shall enter that night, but only the same word. Let us pray. Graciously rise up, O Lord, those you renew in this sacrament, that we may come to possess your attention, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The second collection being taken up at all the Masses today is the annual Seminary Collection. Please be as generous as your means can allow. This week, Sanctuary Lamps for the attention for <coughs> Gerald Duran, Ryan Akaya, and Chikmosi Odumi on their birthday, while altar bread is for a special intention for Bernita 
Bakhto and the family of Pauline Agabojai. Please remember to return the missiles to the stand in the rear of the church and pick up a bulletin for more announcements. Confirmation classes. St. Philip and James confirmation classes are going on ongoing. Students must be in grades seven and above, including adults. Children not baptized in St. Philip and James must bring their baptism certificate. The cost will be $50 per person. Thank you. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. I want to express my sincere appreciation to all of you for your generous prayers and support that enabled me to go and visit the other family in Africa and come back safely. Your general support saved so many lives. I remember when we were dancing during my birthday, whatever you donated saved my brother's life and my aunt. They had big surgeries that all came from your support. We also had a medical camp that was very, very successful. It was coordinated by one of our parishioners Priska Onyagwa, we managed in three days to attend to 1,012 sick people and had 58 surgeries. That was because of the generous hearts of you people. They sent their greetings. My mother, and my aunt, Father Freddy's mother, they all send you greetings. They pray for you and they request you to pray for them. Thank you so much. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.